pressure on the house. Bath is over. Rinse next. I gotta give me a rinse too in a bath. Stand by. Thursday, 10 minutes after 10. Beautiful day. I'm gonna be in the high 70s, they claim. I got the deliveries today. Tomato slicer going back to Wendy's. Restaurant knives going back to the other spot. And the sea axe is going back. We're going on a little mission. Me and my leader, she wants to do some shopping. Here she comes, motivating. Stand by. Well, all the knives are delivered. Tomato cutter delivered. However, my truck is full of honeydews. Oh my God. It's Friday, five o'clock. Mama's man had a birthday last week. This is his present. It was late getting in. I'm going to take it to him tomorrow. Mama's man. Snuffleupagus, what are you doing? You come get some H2O? No, oh, damn the H2O. I want something to eat. <laughs> Big Snuffleupagus over there in this chair. Big. Everybody's rusting. We had a little shower. We worked in the yard. Cleaned the garage out some. Loading my truck up for tomorrow. Look at them balls of fire in there. Big old Jack, look at his tongue sticking out. <laughs> uh oh, stranger. Dun, 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 dun. Another one. Good thing they didn't see that. Well, that's a bright, sunny Saturday day. It's gonna be 90 maybe today. I'm headed to the knife gig. Timmy's Timmy's knife gig, I should say. He's on vacation today, so I'm doing. The, I'm working his knife gig. Last night with our Friday night dinner gang, the lady who was the manager at Williams and Sonoma, where I'm going to work tomorrow, she brought me uh, some knives to sharpen for some of the customers who want to pick them up on tomorrow. I haven't looked at them yet, but they're in this Williams and Sonoma bag here. And I'm probably not going to look at them until I get to the market, when I can get them open out in, in place. So until then, stand by and we'll see what we got. Ought to be nice stuff in Williams and Sonoma. This is a big market. It's big like the one at Virginia Beach. I don't know what to expect at uh, East Beach when I get over there next month. They've been short on vendors for a long time. You see there's two big long rows of vendors here. Chicken lady, eggs, vegetable guys at the end. <coughs> well, it's 9.06. I got fresh seafood. But no taquitos. I guess I have to go to my truck, get them Williams and Sonoma knives out and go to work on them. Let's go take a look and see what they are anyway. You know there are three sets of knives in here. Two sets, one set per bag and then there's some rolled up in a towel. But I don't know what's in there yet. 
Look at this. I see this in my future. Mm. Sausages. <laughs> Are they spicy? Uh, these have a little, have a little red pepper in there. Bag number one has one hankle international, like a small chef's knife, two regular hankles, a para and a utility type knife, and then a little Wusthof para. So that's a mixed bag of knives in that bag. Come over here to the operating room, see what's in bag number two. Well, bag number three has a whole set of Wusthof. Well, I won't say a whole set. It has a chef's knife, a Santuco, a bread knife. A utility type slicer and a small pair of all nice wood sauce. And a pair of scissors like I've never known a Fiskers. I can't really say I've never seen it. Got a bottle opener on them. <laughs> okay. Towel number three, believe it or not, has three pampered chefs. Williams and Sonoma. I can't believe it. A little baby fat para, a little baby fat santuco, and a chef's knife. <laughs> Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Nice and hopping now. Still no knife. It's around 10. It'll roll the edge right off of it. Aika, first customer. Second customer has a little clear. It's a heavy little thing. And. I don't know what this is. K L E V E, Kaleev. No pro. Looks okay. Got some chips in the blade. Things are picking up a little bit. A little teeny pocket knife and a Kershaw. I had another pocket knife. I have four Hinkles International. I sharpened them, no picture. I forgot about them. This place has got me four forsters, forsters, four of them. Two big ones and a little one. And I got plenty of yard stuff to take home so far. Homework. Guys gonna pick them up tomorrow at Williams and Sonoma. Big combat knife. Ontario. Uh, K bar, I think. A nice puma. And I forget what this one is. We get a better look at it later. It says it's a oh that's a case. And this is an old charade right here. Nice taquito. And we're about ready to close. And come out of there, baby. Look at that taquito. Yeah, that's right, the best of it. Well, it looks through. I got through just in the nick of time. I've been in the garage working. It's starting to rain now. Breezed up. You can see it's rough as bricks. I got all the military knives done. I got everything done except one thing, and I forgot about it. It was in my pocket. I got the uh, loafers. I put the Gary effect on these. My buddy in Texas, he takes them all apart and polishes them. So I figured I'd try the same thing. We charge a little more, but it looks nicer. Remember what they looked like before, right? The Gary effect. And the little old pruners. As I was leaving, 
a gentleman drove up named Clark. He handed me this old case. He says, look at this case. Tips broke off it. He said, I got a, I said, I tried to send it back a case and they sent it back to me. He actually had the letter that he, that he got from case saying they couldn't do anything for it. The blade was discontinued. It was so old and they sent it back to him. So he said, can you do anything with it? I said, no, I'll put the Gurry effect on it too. But I forgot about doing it. It was in my pocket. I just remembered it a minute ago. So tomorrow or either Monday, I'll uh, put a new tip on it, clean it up, and revive it. Case. Double X or triple X. I can't tell. I got no glasses on. Two X's, I think. Oh, yeah. You can see it. He's a nice old ticket, is he? I thought it was a Barlow when he first pulled it out. Okie dokie. Mayflower, 1620. Charade. 1550C. It's got Charade Scrimshaw with an anchor. A no, that's an eagle. Justice. Liberty and Justice, it says. 0633. 06333. That's one of the military, well, that's one of the knives that was mixed in with the military knives. And this really nice Puma. Germany. Handmade Skinner. Nice Takita. Here we have a Rat 7. Randall. Not Randall, of course, made by Ontario. It's a nice knife. Big, but not real. It's got a it's got a good taper to the blade. It's thin down by the blade part. You see how thick it is back there? Well it tapers down really nice. And it got so sharp it's unbelievable. The other one's a big, fat, thick K-bar, a BK-2, they call it. Well, she's a heavy-duty baby. And the third Tiquito is a bayonet-style knife. Clips on some M16, probably. Or Similar. It's called the M9 Phoebus 3. And last but not least is made in the USA. This is a pretty cool knife. TSD Combat Systems. I didn't think much of this knife when I first picked it up because it's thick. Look at that. But it gets thin down by the edge too and it sharpens up really nice. And that's that. We all have an ass kicking storm, I'm telling you. Lightning, thunder up the yin yang. It's unbelievable. Just got back from Canyon's birthday party. And that was interesting. It's a Mexican place. I mean, the food was okay. We had a hard time getting in and out because of the weather. Man. And the boys, the boys want to go out and play ball, because that ain't going to happen. <laughs> is it? Is it Indians? No, say, Daddy is too nasty outside. We can't go outside. 
So I guess we'll feed everybody and go from there. Rancho Max. Saturday night. <laughs> Get him, Jack. I'll take nothing off that Indian. Mama. Mama says, I'm ready to eat. Where's the damn food at? Where the hell is Boo Boo? Oh, that's Boo Boo. He was waiting for his food. Boo Boo, where are you going? Big Boo Boo. Mmm, scratches on my head. I'm the big Boo Boo. Uh oh. Don't make too fast a moves, I'll get you. <laughs> He's scratching his own face now. Look at him. He's a trip, that guy is. Dog food truck came. Chewies. We buy most of our cat food. Well, not our cat food, but our dog food and our cat litter from Chewies online. It's a little cheaper. That's right, much cheaper. I shouldn't say a little. They bring it right to your door. I like it. This is Max Hieroglyphics from today. <laughs> Nobody can figure that out but me. Let's go look at When I get home, I got a bill for the tax man. Hmm. You hear a boo boo crowing? You hear it? <laughs> no wing crow. Nah, that's right, no wing crow. Come on. Oh God, feed me, mama. Canyon had his birthday party at a Mexican place called Plaza Azteca. Pretty good Mexican food for this area. And damn good margaritas. My daughter and me and Chris and several of us had uh, possibly too many. I might be uh, Talking like a parrot with his foot hung in a few minutes. If I stay on this channel very much longer, that's what happens to you when you drink too many margaritas. You get chatty like a parrot with his foot hung. <laughs> I sure hope that don't happen. But I'm just a step away. The boys are eating chicken and lamb tonight. <laughs> 